doors, just like Castle said. Speaking of costumes, I know who the killer is. Behold, a photo of our masked vigilante, juxtaposed with issues from my own Marvel collection. You have Avengers number one? And there's more where that came from. You're welcome to peruse my issues anytime. Please note how the killer has drawn inspiration from costumes of other superheroes. For example, the color scheme evokes Spider-Man. The horned helmet, obviously an homage to Daredevil. The sword and scabbard, Deadpool, a high collar, just like Black Panther. Now, what do these characters all have in common? They're make-believe. They're driven by the death of a father figure or loved one. Exactly. I believe that our killer shares a similar backstory, which is why he's been inspired by these characters' costumes. Furthermore, out of costume, these heroes tend to be unassuming. So let's add mild manner to our profile. Mr. Castle, so this is you working a homicide? A superhero who's mild-mannered and someone killed his parents? Isn't that all of them? How can any of this produce even one useful conclusion? Let me direct your attention to the golden belt worn by our masked vigilante. Based on the golden belt worn by Iron Man in only 11 original issues in 1963. Which proves what exactly? Our killer collected comic books. Which means there is one place in this city he would definitely go. You know, Castle, you might want to tone down the theories until Gates warms up to you. Oh, I plan to melt Captain Permafrost by solving this case. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that one. Whoa. You smell that? Wafting scent of printed pages? Comicadia Beckon. This place is the premier comic book shop. It's the Vatican to a Catholic. It's Mecca to a pilgrim. It's upstream to a spot. I know, Castle. I bought my first comic here when I was 14. Sin City. Dame to kill for. Hardcore! Okay, wait, wait, okay. If you could be any comic book character in the world, who would you be? Electra. Oh. A ruthless assassin who hides from her emotions. No, maybe it's because she's got badass ninja skills. Oh. What about you? Iron Man? Spider-Man? No, wait, I know. Annoying man. Try billionaire industrialist Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. the Dark Knight. He's broody, he's handsome, and he has all the coolest toys. Wow, digging deep on that one.